Blessed morning everyone! Mapagpalang umaga muli sa ating lahat. Kumusta na po ang ating umaga? So, ready na ba tayo for session 2? Nakapag-almusal na po ba kayo? Sige nga, let us know. Sino na ang mga nakapag-breakfast? Comment down below. Nakikita ko meron na tayong 36 viewers as of now. So, it's 10.01 in the morning. Hopefully, nakapag-breakfast na kayo kasi... Sa umagang ito, um, actually ang pinakamahalaga nga daw ng meal diba, ay breakfast. At sa umagang ito, kailangan-kailangan natin ang ating mga brain cells para talaga namang uh, matandaan, maintindihan natin kung ano-ano nga ba ang mga strategy para magtagumpay tayo sa online learning. So, ihanda na rin ninyo guys yung inyong mga ball pen at saka notebook para sama-sama tayong matuto mula sa isa na namang bigating speaker natin na inimbita para sa ating session this morning. Okay? So good morning, good morning din sa mga maagang nakatutok sa FB Live, sa mga nag-chat sa atin kanina, parang before 10 a.m. nag-aabang na talaga. So good morning. Let us know kung saan kayo nanonood ng Gika na ba mag-online learning webinar series. Comment down below din po. And greetings sa mga ayan, nandyan na sa ating FB Live. Ayan, say hi at kung saan kayo nag- uh, nanonood sa ngayong umaga. Alright? At kung wala pa rin yung inyong mga kasamahan, mga kaklase dito sa ating FB Live, aba ay gisingin nyo na po sila at itag natin sila sa video na ito or sa FB Live na ito para makasama rin natin sila for this morning's session. At pwedeng-pwede nyo ring i-share itong FB Live natin para mas marami pa ang uh, ma-share natin ng information, ng knowledge, sa morning na ito para maging handa rin sila sa online learning, lalong-lalo na sa pagpasok ng ating uh, unang semestre ngayong taon. And as of this morning, meron tayong 1,522 registered participants. So padami ng padami. Sabi nga natin, nung last session, nung session 1, nung Monday, i-take advantage na natin, na natin lahat ng series na ito ng Gika na ba mag-online learning dahil para po sa inyo lahat ito. Okay? So I hope on board na po tayong lahat. It's 10.03 in the morning. Alright? So welcome to Jika na ba mag online learning? A six-part webinar series on how to study at home under the new normal. And today, August 19, 2020 is our second session entitled Be Lit! Learn Tips and Best Strategies for Online Learning. I am Cheryl Hermosa Ebron, the University Extension Associate and Training Coordinator of UPLB Learning Resource Center. And again, I will be your host or moderator for our session today. So in the meantime, meron lamang tayong key reminders before we formally start our session. Number one, please be reminded to always keep your comments helpful and considerate to the speaker, uh, moderators, and to your fellow participants. And then, once again, the question and answer portion, guys, will be after the discussion of our speaker. And kindly ask relevant questions to our topic, okay? And then, please comment down below. Kapag mag magkasulat na kayo ng question nyo, please write first your name, your school, or your affili affiliation, and then your question, okay? And then, our speaker will entertain them right after the discussion. And then, lastly... Please do not forget to answer the evaluation form after the webinar. Your comments and suggestions, guys, will be deeply appreciated by, by our team, uh, Team LRC, para naman uh, mas ma-improve pa namin yung aming services for you guys. Okay? Also, some of you requested YouTube links of the session because you guys are only using mobile data. So, we heard you guys. So, aside from FB Live, we also have... Um, a YouTube channel. So, bagong-bagong setup yan. Um, please uh, go to our YouTube channel, UPLB Learning Resource Center, because we will be uploading uh, this session sa aming channel para makapanood din kayo ng ating uh, webinar series. Okay? So, makikita niyo yan sa inyong screen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Wow, Nax. <laughs> Vlogger na ito. I-click niyo rin po yung notification bell. O, oh, di ba? Para updated kayo palagi sa ating mga videos. Alright? So, ang tanong, G ka na ba? G na ba kayo? Okay, kung G ka na, simula na natin ang ating session na ito. So, to give her opening remarks, may I recognize our beautiful and beloved director, 
Dr. Benjamina Paula G. Flor. Good morning, everyone. We are happy to have you on board in our uh, second session on uh, preparing you on how to uh, study online. And this uh, seminar or this webinar is about uh, doing you some good in terms of uh, how to cope with studying online. You see, there are so many things that we have to take into account. You know, there's this uh, abrupt uh, paradigm shift on how we're going to study next semester. And we cannot fault anyone. We cannot fault the university. We cannot fault our faculty or you, our students, because this is something that we did not ask for. You know? We did not want this to happen, but it happened. So what we can do is simply to adapt to uh, this uh, new normal, as we call it. And we believe that as Filipinos, we are kind of resilient and we could uh, face any uh, untoward uh, dilemma or challenges. So why did we uh, have this uh, webinar? No? Why G ka na ba? Ano ba ang rason kung ba't ginawa natin to? This is because we want to prepare you on how to study under the new normal. Of course, we know that it is not easy because you only have your uh, machines, no? either a laptop, a phone, or an iPad, or a computer that you always face. Ito lang ang kausap ninyo. No? Wala si teacher, wala si classmate. So, hindi siya madaling gawin. However, it can be done. Sabi nga natin, it can be done creatively and intelligently without much difficulty. So at dahil dyan, kailangan nating malaman kung ano ba talaga ang dapat nating gawin, ano ang mga strategies na kailangan nating gawin so we could cope with the new normal or for now, no, tentatively, studying uh, remotely. So basically, the rationale for this study is, uh, as I have said, is due to the pandemic. And we have no choice but to study fully online this coming first semester, 2020-2021, not only to keep you safe and sound, but uh, the university faculty and management as well. Uh, we have been preparing our professors and our staff on how to uh, brace the new normal. However, we thought that uh, we were amiss in terms of how are we going to prepare our students to adapt to this new learning environment. So we did a survey, you know, the Learning Resource Center conducted an online survey on the, on the academic needs of uh, UPLB students during the pandemic. So these are the results of our uh, survey. No? So if you can see, we, we ask our students if they are ready. And as you can see on your left, that's around, um, that's around or a little over one fourth of the students were not ready or were, were ready. And uh, in the middle would be around a third of the students, uh, medio ready, no? somewhat ready. And around 40% uh, were not ready at all. At dahil dyan, we believe that uh, we need to intervene as a center on how we could get our students on board. So we prepared a six part series on G Kanaba Mag Online Learning. So we had on the 17th, uh, Dr. Edmund Centeno, who talked about creative creativeness in uh, optimizing online learning platforms. So he talked about various ways on how to study offline and online. What are the tools that we could uh, use? No? The limitation of which tool and uh, how do we prepare ourselves? So if you were not able to attend that session, you could look, uh, you could uh, visit our uh, FB page and uh, we will up it's uploaded there. And 
in YouTube, we will try to uh, we will we will upload it as well. So the second the second session is a uh, is a uh, Dr. Um, Bianco who will talk about the ways now on how you would be able to participate fully. You know? What are the strategies so that you could prepare yourself? So the third strategy is how to be on cam ready. Because you see, if, if, we, if we just simply be ourselves during online sessions, no, hindi pa nakakaligo, siguro hindi pa kumakain, pupungas-pungas pa, eh medyo hindi magandang tingnan on screen. So Dr. Uh, and uh, Professor Mark Lester Chico, doctor to be, no, soon to be doctor, will be teaching us on how to be on cam ready. Para naman presentable kay teacher, presentable kay classmates, no. Hindi naman kailangan talagang bonggang bongga, but you will be able to learn some tips on how you're going to present online. May konting direction, kumbaga, no? Tayo ay on cam, so para lang uh, pelikula, no? So if, if you see the camera, and I'm sure most of you have those um, skills already, but for online learning, we may be needing some uh, specific skills that uh, would equip you to better study online. The fourth session will be me. I will be talking about uh, how do we apply ethics in online learning. So that means be very extra careful in dealing with our classmates, with our professors, you know, with our learning materials. Kasi lahat ito, ah, tinatawag natin netiquette. You know? How do we behave online? So our behavior online may not be different from how we behave offline, but we want to be very extra careful on how this behavior will be manifested online. So our fifth session is about, as you all know, we have experienced some anxiety, some depression. So we will have Dr. Alexandra Jean Paulis to talk about how is our mental health, you know, how is our emotional and social needs going to be addressed? So Dr. Jean or Alex would be able to help us, be able to give us some directions on how we could manage our sanity during this pandemic. And of course, para naman meron tayong credibility in, in terms of how uh, students study online, we will be having uh, two uh, students from the UP Open University. So sila ay uh, mga, yung isa, Shari is already a straight PhD student at the College of Development Communication. So she will share to us how she managed to graduate with honors yeah. through online learning. So both of them are students of, of the Bachelor of Arts in Multimedia Studies from the UP Open University. So sa, in terms of, of experience, talagang UP Open University is the most mature in terms of online learning. So si, si Gabi naman is uh, doing his undergrad, hindi pa siya graduate. So these two students will share their successful online strategies and medyo tips then on how not to procrastinate and probably some lessons learned, you know, what did they did not do correctly will be shared to you. So from these resource persons, you will be able to, to learn whether uh, how to cope well is something that is embedded on you. you know? As an online learner, as an, ind an independent learner, not sa inyo talaga yung success. If you succeed, you get the credit. If you don't succeed, you only have yourself to blame. So we want to make sure that you will succeed in this online learning. And we hope that you uh, focus, you know, internalize what will be taught today and uh, the next uh, seminars or webinars so that talagang go na go na tayo in terms of online learning. Salamat po. Thank you so much, Ma'am Benj. So guys, totoo talaga yung sabi ni ma'am, hindi natin inaasahan itong ganitong setup. 
Marami sa atin, hindi lang students, pati teachers, mga empleyado, maraming difficulties and struggles learning and working from home. So we truly understand. Kaya nga, minabuti talaga na i-push itong Gika na ba uh, webinar series para sama-sama tayong makapaghanda at matuto para sa nalalapit na pasukan. Okay? So moving forward to give us her inspirational message, let us now please welcome the equally beautiful and beloved Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Portia G. Lapitan. Uh, magang, magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Uh, natutuwa ako na tayo ay magkakasama ngayon uh, dito sa isang uh, programa na nagbibigay pansin no, sa pangangailangan ng ating mga mag-aaral ano, ngayong tayo ay nasa pandemic. Okay. Uh, uh, medyo may uh, okay. So makikita niyo na ang inspirasyon niyo <laughs> sa pag-aaral ngayong first semester 2020-2021 at ako 'yun. <laughs> Hindi, nagbibiro lang ako. Um, alam ko na sa panahon ng pandemya ngayon, tayo ay kinakailangang uh, humanap ng inspirasyon para maipagpatuloy natin na yung dapat natin gawin kahit pa mayroong pandemya. Uh, ang University of the Philippines Los Baños no, ay naghanda no, ng maraming mga programa, naghanda ng mga dapat Uh, ihandang mga resources no, para masiguro natin na ang pag-aaral no, sa UPLB ay magpapatuloy kahit pa meron tayong pandemya. And sa panahong ito na lahat tayo, alam ko lahat tayo, na walang exception, exemption, lahat tayo ay dumadanas no, ng Uh, pag-aalala no? uh, marami tayong una anxiety uh, issues uncertain issues that uh, ating uh, umaagaw kumbaga no? sa ating uh, panahon, atensyon no? at uh, pag-iisip ngunit siguro dapat ang mas uh, bigyan natin ng pansin ano, ay paano ba tayo makakakuha ng inspirasyon ano, sa nangyayari ngayon para may pagpatuloy natin yung dapat natin uh, ipagpatuloy na buhay. How do we go about ano, uh, uh, living up, adapting to ano, the new normal? I think uh, for you students, no, um, it will be inspiration enough you know, to learn that you still will be able to continue learning, although we have this pandemic. As I've said earlier, the, the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, has done a lot of things you know, to come up with programs, to come up with uh, supply and availability of resources so that you will be able to continue learning you now while we are in this pandemic. Remote learning or remote delivery of learning you know, is uh, the strategy that UPLB has thought of so that uh, while you may be in your respective uh, households, you, know, you can still continue Uh, learning, you can still continue your program in the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. And I think, as I've said earlier, it should be inspiration enough you know, for you to continue you know, uh, with your education, with your degree program, because there are people you know, that are doing what they're supposed to do 
so that you can continue learning. Uh, find inspiration as well in the people around you. you know? uh, the people around you that are there to continue supporting you in not only in your learning, but in your other uh, uh, concerns, no? maybe social, psychosocial, and all the like. Your family you know, with you, I know will be able to provide the necessary support to you. No? And this should be looked at as an inspiration no? for you to continue the work. Um, marami sa atin ang alam ko na uh, ang access no, uh, to the internet, for example, or an access to the uh, to online learning is compromised because of uh, internet connectivity, because of uh, you know uh, resource constraints. No, I would like to inform you. No, uh, because this will also be inspiring enough no, for you to continue, that the UP system has actually looked at how uh, student support no, can be provided to students in this particular predicament so that you know, uh, the challenge of online learning no, can be addressed. So uh, at this point, I, all I wanted to say to you is, no, be inspired. Be inspired that you're still able and you will still be able to continue learning although we are in this pandemic. Um, and at this juncture, I would like to recognize, of course, uh, those behind you know, this Jikanaba online learning in coming up with this particular uh, webinar series. Uh, alam ko, uh, other than us being able to uh, provide the necessary intervention, the necessary strategies, the necessary um, recommendations, no? so that uh, you will be able to ready yourself for online learning. Yung nagpa-participate then in this particular program, nagbibigay sa amin ng data no? uh, na importante para magawa namin yung dapat na adjustment na gawin, no para masiguro namin na yung remote delivery of uh, the first semester courses will be as smooth as and as supportive as possible to the students. So uh, I just would like to commend no, the efforts of the Learning Resource Center and also those who have willingly, you know, willingly uh, involved themselves you know, in this webinar, like for example, in today's, you know, in today's uh, session, Dr. Mo Yanko, who is actually the uh, director of the General Education or GE Council of UPLB. Also, um, the other resource persons you know, that will be uh, continuing this webinar series, I need not name them because they have been introduced earlier by Dr. Uh, Floor. Uh, personally, I would like to thank you know, each and every one of you, you know, who is participating in this webinar. Dahil um, it actually gives me some comfort, you no. Know, that students are still there no, and willing to continue learning. Um, I, I, I have no doubt no, that you will be able no, to manage online learning because you are uh, used to diba? your cell phone, uh, to using gadgets you know, for communicating. And so, uh, as I've said, you know, I am very confident you know, that uh, you will be able to cope with online learning. Uh, for us, Generation A1, uh, online learning is really intimidating. 
uh, dahil hindi naman kasi kami talaga sanay na palaging nakatutok no sa mga gadgets but for you i know while there will be adjustment no uh, because this time yung ang dating kinukuha yung courses face to face will be online um, it will be an easy task for you it will be a walk in the park so continue no learning amidst the pandemic and UPLB will always be there to support you magandang umaga sa ating lahat and good luck everybody Thank you, Ma'am Portia, for inspiring us to move forward together. Indeed, again, guys, we are all new to this. And as we conduct this webinar series, we are all learning together. So it will be challenging, but we are all in this together. And together, we can achieve academic excellence. All right? So thank you once again, Ma'am Portia. Okay, so guys, so kung andyan pa rin kayo, please kindly share this uh, webinar series to your friends. And don't forget to use our hashtag. Our official hashtag is G, under, uh, sorry, um, hashtag GKNB Online Learning. All right. So let us now proceed to the second part of our session, which is uh, the leveling off of expectations. Sa mga naka-attend na nung session one, medyo familiar na kayo dito sa ating gagamitin. So we will be using Mentimeter again. Okay. So, para sa saan ba itong leveling off of expectations? Again, para magkaroon kami ng idea and background, uh, yung ating speaker at yung team namin, kung ano ba yung mga inaasahan ninyo makuha mula sa ating session ngayong umaga. So, first, first step is to open your browser and go to www.menti.com and then second, use, your, use or type the code that you see on your screen. It's 8578 seven six nine okay there are two questions there i will be also posting the link sa ating uh, facebook live hold on para makasunod yung iba all right so post ko lang and then uh, sundan nyo po yung link na iyon okay and then let me also share my screen for our live results ng ating uh, mentimeter okay let me just share my screen. Okay. Ayan. So, first question is, I'm watching GKNB or GK na ba mag online learning from fill in the blanks. Okay. So, this is really amazing. Hanggang ngayon na, amazed pa rin ako sa live results ng Mentimeter, guys. So, I'm seeing on my screen, um, a lot of you are from Laguna, Laguna and rest of Luzon, and then Metro Manila. We have two from Visayas and then one from Mindanao. And we have 129, 134 respondents and participants answering the Mentimeter. So, paabutin ko lang yan ng 200, then next question na tayo. Okay? Ayan, pantay lang yung Laguna and the rest of Luzon. And then Metro Manila, 34. May sa Visayas, may sa Mindanao din. Tayong mga... Uh, participants na nanonood sa ating FB Live. So once again, please don't forget to use, use our official hashtag para madaling makita yung ating mga videos for this Gika na ba mag online learning webinar series which is hashtag GKNB online learning. Ayan, dumadami ang sa rest of Luzon. Laguna 73 second. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much sa mga nag-participate sa first question. Our next question would be, okay, ayan. What do you expect to gain from session two, which is entitled, Bill Lit, Learn Tips and Best Strategies for Online Learning. Ayan. What do you expect to gain from session two? Okay, nakita ko na ulit ang inyong mga answers. Advantageous, maging handa, insights. Okay. New knowledge, okay, practical tips. Okay, keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. New learnings, interesting, motivation. Okay. Knowledge, okay, motivation. Fun and informative. Best strategies, important strategies. Fun. Okay. 
excel in online learning insights tips techniques okay okay kayong mag-alala madami kayong matututunan sa umagang ito kasi talagang expert din yung ating uh, inimbita sa umagang ito for our session okay pabutin ko lang ng 150 and then that's it okay tips strategies practical tips Talagang one word, mga one word. Motivation, inspiration. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for participating in our um, leveling off of expectation. So, thank you for giving us background. So, um, we hope na mamit namin yung mga expectations ninyo to get motivation, inspiration, and new knowledge in our second session. Okay? So, all right. Um, Okay, let me hold on. Okay, so all right. So let's move forward to our main part of our session. So to give you guys tips and best strategies on how to be successful in online learning for this first semester shift in education, allow me to introduce to you our speaker for this morning. He is the director of UPLB General Education Program and teaches social research methods courses at the Department of Social Sciences or DSS College of Arts and Sciences here in UPLV. After graduating from UP Los Baños with a BA Sociology, magna cum laude, he started teaching at DSS, then later went to UK to pursue postgraduate studies. He earned his Master of Philosophy in Sociology at the University of Birmingham in England through the Ford Foundation International Fellowship. He then moved to Cardiff in Wales as Seafarers International Research Center Nippon Postgraduate Fellow and completed not one but two programs, a postgraduate diploma in social science research methods with distinction and a doctor of philosophy in sociology. He's more than two decades a student and teacher in higher education institutions here in the Philippines and in the UK afforded him a great many tips on learning that he wishes to share with us today. Here to talk about how to be lit in online learning, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our speaker, Dr. Mark Oliver or Mo S. Rianco. Maraming salamat, Ma'am She, at magandang umaga sa lahat ng ating mga kasama mula sa Laguna, sa Metro Manila, sa Luzon, Visayas, at sa Mindanao. And I, I, I saw a while ago may mga kasama din tayo mula overseas, baka nahiya lang mag, uh, magmenti.com that ka kanina. So let me now start by uh, showing you my slides. All right, so this presentation is brought to you by the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, Shaping Minds That Shape the Nation. This is session two of our Jika na ba mag online learning. And my presentation is entitled Be Lit, Learn Tips and Best Strategies for Online Learning. I have three learning objectives for you this morning. I hope by the end of this session, you will be able to give examples of how evidence-based learning strategies may be applied in a learn-from-home setting. Kasi syempre, lahat nga kayo ngayon o lahat tayo nasa uh, mga bahay natin at doon tayo mag-aaral o magtuturo. Pangalawa, by the end of this session, I hope that you will be able to select practical strategies that you will be able to implement as you begin your online learning this first semester 2020-2021. And finally, uh, aside from the tips that I will be giving you this morning, I hope that you will be able to reflect and situate these learning tips within the broader context of university education. I have seven ideas that I want to share with you. But before that, let me first get to know some people who will be studying online for the first time. Kumusta ka na? Isko 
at ISCA. So meron tayo ngayon na mga uh, kasama ngayon na uh, estudyante ng uh, UPLB uh, na magpapaliwanag sa atin kung ano ba yung kanilang mga plano. So uh, sige, uh, tingnan muna natin yung uh, mga kasama natin ngayon. Ayan, so siguro pwede na nating makita yung video ng ating uh, uh, mga kasamang estudyante. Magandang umaga, Angelo. Pakilala muna tayo. Let's start with Angelo. Nasaan ka ngayon? Anong course mo? At bumati ka muna sa ating mga kasama ngayon. Uh, 500 people, more than 500 people are watching, are joining us through Facebook. Yes, Jello. Ah, Jello, hindi ka pa namin naririnig. Pwede bang paki-unmute muna yung mic mo? Ayan. Good morning, sir. Good morning din po sa mga mga nanonood, sa mga viewers natin sa True FB Live. Um, I'm Angelo Hernandez, BS Agricultural Biotechnology from the College of Agriculture and Food Science. Um, I'm currently here in Pililia Rizal po. Hey, so anong anong course mo nga ulit, Jello? BS Agricultural Biotechnology po. All right. So and then uh, sa first sem, anong year mo na? Um, incoming junior po. Okay, so malaki year po. din palang makagraduate. Uh, thank you, Jello. Now let's listen to IMG. IMG? Good morning po, Sir Liang po. So good morning din po sa mga nanonood through FB Live. And ako nga po pala si Ian Mar Gabriel Di Aguila, a third, incoming third year BS Mathematics and Science teaching student of UPLB and Currently, nandito po ako ngayon sa Batangas, sa, sa aming bahay. So, yun po. Okay, so from Rizal, nagpunta tayo ng uh, Batangas. Ngayon, kasama din natin uh, si Dimple. Yes, Dimple. Hello po sa inyo lahat. Um, I'm here po sa Mandaluyong currently. I am Maria Dimple P. Sariola, a BS Agricultural and Applied Economic Student. Um, Okay, so salamat sa pagsama ninyo sa amin ngayon dito sa sa LRC. At ang una kong gustong tanungin ay si Balik Tayo kay Angelo. Uh, kumusta ka na ngayong pandemya, Angelo? Um, how did you survive or thrive uh, with a life in quarantine since uh, March? Jello? Nag-freeze yata yung screen ni Jello. So, babalikan natin siya later. So, siguro si Ian yung tanungin natin. Si IMG yung tanungin natin. Kamusta na ba ang buhay mo uh, ngayong pandemya since uh, March? Um, so far, so good naman po. Kasi, uh, na stop ako dun sa mga students na naiwan po sa UP dorm uh, noong March and April nung nag-lockdown. And, naka mm -hmm. naman po ako nung April 9 and Um, ngayon po, natulong po sa family and yung scholarship grant ko po, ginamit ko po sa small business namin na Sari Sari Store. And okay naman po. Okay. Natutuwa naman ako at kasama mo na yung pamilya mo ngayon, IMG, at uh, nakakatulong ka ngayon sa yung uh, pamilya. Uh, si, uh, puntahan naman natin si, uh, si Dimple. Dimple, ang topic natin ngayon ay uh, learning strategies no? para sa paghahanda natin sa online learning this first semester. Uh, ikaw ba nung wala pa tayo, hindi pa tayo nagsisimula ng uh, online learning, in person pa yung mga klase natin. Uh, ano ba yung mga learning strategies mo? Ako po, um, kasi po online, traditional classroom, magkaiba po talaga. Na, nasa harap mo yung classmates mo, yung professor mo, ako, para matuto po, para madigest ko masyado yung mga information, gumagawa po ako ng mga cards, um, visual cards, para madali ko po siyang maintindihan. Pero ang tipo talaga is, you, know, you need to understand yung pinag-aaralan mo para madali mo siyang ma-memorize. Although, hindi talaga ma-memorize, pero para maintindihan mo siya at hindi ka mahirapan sa pagsagot ng mga exams or assignments or kaya thesis po. Okay. Nung sinabi mo ba ng mga cards, uh, ano ba yan? Mga index cards? Meron ka ba dyang sample? 
Opo, usually po, index cards po. Naiwan ko po sa dorm yung mga index cards ko ngayon. Actually. Okay, so kahit na, uh, so in the past, ano, oh, oh, okay. So, uh, pagka ba next semester, anong plano mo? Mag-i-index cards ka pa rin ba? Opo naman po. Okay. Sure po, pero ngayon po, Yes, continue din po. Um, dati rin po, before, may classmates po kami. Ma parang group session siya, question and answers. Parang ganun po namin na digest yung mga ano, lessons po. Pero ngayon, pwede naman po namin siya maho silang makontak, pero online na din po. Okay. Helpful din po siya. O oh, sige. So marami may na-share na sa atin si Dimpon. Siguro pwede na nating uh, balikan si Jello. Jello, Jello, are you still with us? Yes, sir. Ayan. So, Jello, uh, hindi na bago ang balita. We are shifting to remote teaching and learning ng first semester. What is your game plan? Ano ang paghahanda na ginagawa mo para uh, sa online learning this semester? So, ayun nga po, sir, dahil nagsishift na nga po to remote learning ang mga universities. Ang um, ginagawa ko po, is, syempre, is, first is yung mag-adapt sa main merong pandemic. So, hindi po ano, possible yung physical classes sa ngayon. Tapos, yun po, um, yun lang po, nire-ready ko po yung sarili ko um, o ma-attend din po ako ng mga webinars na kagaya nito na syempre, na, matututo din po ako na may apply ko rin po once na nagsimula na po yung semester. Okay, maraming salamat, Angelo. Uh, sana eh, hindi ka pa napagod sa dami ng webinars atenan mo since March ano so uh, IMG Dimpol Jello maraming salamat sa yes. pagbabahagi ninyo ngayong umaga at babalik na ako dun sa slides ko kanina okay babalikan ko kayo later salamat thank you po thank you po ayan so let's prepare my slides again So, hintay lang tayo ng kaunti. Hmm? Sandali lang po. Okay. So, uh, ready na ba tayo sa ating screen, Sir Chico? Okay na tayo, no? Ayan. So, nakamusta na natin ang ating mga isko at iska sa kanilang mga kalagayan. Now, pumunta na po tayo sa, sa ating uh, uh, paksa ngayong umaga. At uh, sisikapin ko pong magsalita uh, in Filipino bilang Agosto ngayon at buwan ng wika. Uh, marami tayong baon na kwento mula sa ating uh, nakaraang semestre, sa second semester, bago tayo makaranas ng pandemya. At sa pagpasok ng bagong uh, semestre na may remote learning, marami tayong babaunin din ng mga kwento. We are at a historic moment because of this ongoing pandemic. At nawa sa pagsuong uh, natin sa bagong semestre na ito ay baunin natin ang maraming aral na magpapayaman sa ating kwento bilang uh, tao. Now, Malinaw din na bagamat naghahanda tayo para sa isang online learning, hindi lahat ay makakasama natin sa sa mode of learning na ito, no? Kasi may mga challenges ang ibang mga kabataan sa uh, technical requirements para sa isang online learning. At uh, sinisigurado ko din sa inyo na naghahanda yung ating mga faculty members para sa uh, pagbibigay na ng uh, learning materials sa mga kasama natin sa UPLB na hindi makakabahagi sa isang online learning uh, setup. At uh, hindi dahil online learning yung gagawin natin, eh, pare-pareho din yung uh, uh, bandwidth ng uh, panggagalingan ng bawat mag-aaral. No? Kaya may panawagan din para sa ating mga guro na sana they could design their courses with equity in mind. No? So, kasi syempre, meron din tayong mga studyante that they have access to internet 
but uh, very limited. Some of us will be accessing our lessons through phones, which, uh, which is, of course, challenging for those students. Sa umagang ito, I will be sharing seven tips to be lit this first semester, 2020-21 and beyond. So, ready na ba kayo? Okay, for our first tip, we usually get two out of three. Uh, nung unang panahon, kapag uh, nagtuturo ako ng GE courses, isa sa mga paborito kong kwento na sinisimula ng aking klase sa pagbubukas ng semestre, ang kwento na ito na kung ano ang pipiliin mo. As a general rule, meron lang daw tayo na dalawa sa tatlong areas na ito na pwede nating piliin kapag ka tayo ay pumasok sa isang universidad. Katulad ng UPLD. Ano ba ang gusto mo? Good grades? Good social life? O good sleep? Pero yun nga, ang general principle, dalawa lamang sa kanila ang pwede mong piliin. Siyempre, gusto ng mga magulang mo, uh, meron kang good grades. Kaya ka nga ipinadala sa universidad para uh, magkaroon ng uh, edukasyon, ng degree na magagamit mo sa pag-aangat ng kalagayan ng iyong pamilya. Uh, pero ang sabi din sa atin, natutunan natin ang uni universidad ay mayroong uh, latent function. Dito natin mapapalawak ang ating uh, social capital. Makikilala natin ang ating mga magiging kaibigan at kotuwang sa buhay sa hinaharap. Kaya importante din na mayroon kang good social life. Pero limitado ang iyong oras, 24 hours lamang. So if you want good grades and good social life, chances are you have very little time for good sleep or good health. No? So minsan naman, syempre, yung ibang mga estudyante, ang gusto nila good social life, lalo pa nung in-person pa yung mga classes natin. At nandun pa tayo lahat sa campus para sa, uh, sa pag-aaral natin. No? May mga org tayo, marami tayong activity sa university, para makilala yung mga tao. And we, the, in these activities, we are able to build our network. And of course, that is important. And later, when you start working, uh, ma makilalaman ninyo ang importansya ng mga pagkakaibigan na mga ito. Pero syempre, gusto mo naman kapag ka humaharap ka sa mga bago mong kaibigan, eh, mukha kang fresh, nakatulog ka ng mahimbing, at maayos yung itsura mo, hindi namamagay yung eyebags mo. So you also wanted good sleep. no? Chances are, baka maapektohan naman yung good grades kasi wala ka nang masyadong time para makapag-review. No? So one area might suffer. Kung ako naman yung tatanungin ninyo nung undergrad ko, I think ang meron ako, good grades tsaka good sleep. no? So Dahil umuwi ako sa Kalamba, hindi ako masyadong nagsistay sa Los Banos, wala akong masyadong chance para makakilala ng mga bagong kaibigan nung ako yung estudyante. So, more or less, I chose good grades and good sleep. Of course, one area suffered, wala akong masyadong friends. No? But, syempre, general rule lang yan. Meron mga, uh, ang tawag doon, exception to the rule na mga mag-aaral, baka may kilala kayo, uh, they had good grades, good social life, and good sleep. So, pag-isipan po ninyo, lalo na yung mga incoming freshman natin na naparating ngayong September or mag, uh, who will join the university remotely, think about the choices that you will make. So, that is our tip number one. We usually get two out of three. My second tip for you is choose interactions that matter. We are now working in an online learning environment. And according to uh, Terry Anderson, if we wanted to create a deep and meaningful learning experience sa konteksto na ito, we need to be mindful of the interactions that will make that happen. No? From the point of view of the student, the student should be mindful between the interaction between the student and the content. No? So yung mga learning materials mo. You also need to consider 
your interactions with you as the learner and the teacher or the coach. No? Sa isang online learning context, hindi na masyadong sage on the stage ang teacher. The teacher, he or she, is now the coach on the side. And at the same, pero siyempre, kahit na online ang ating mode of learning, meron pa ding third relevant interaction. At yun yung interaction mo with your fellow learners. Kahit na remote sila, there is a way for you to interact with them. And if you would like to create deep and meaningful learning, that is one area of interaction that you can pay attention to. Sabi ni, uh, ni, ni, ni uh, Terry Anderson sa kanyang Theorem 1, deep and meaningful formal learning is supported as long as one of the three forms of interaction, na nabanggit ko kanina, is at a high level. The other two may be offered at minimal levels or when even when even eliminated without degrading the educational experience, no? So, ang anong ibig sabihin nito para sa atin bilang estudyante? You need to exercise where you have most control, no? So, anong ibig sabihin ng exercise control where you have, no? First, I think ang importanteng dapat bigyan ninyo ng pansin is how you engage with your content. That in the coming semester, our first semester will be a shortened semester. We only have 14 weeks no? starting September 10. And for the GE courses that you will be taking this semester, our learning management platform will be Google Classroom. So this is where your facilitator, your faculty in charge, they will be uploading learning material, materials that you can access and uh, work on. No? So last time, last uh, Monday, Sir Ed talked about asynchronous and synchronous modes of delivery. Dahil magkakaiba ang ating access sa internet at ang ating bandwidth capacity, you should expect that most of your courses, especially your GE courses, will be largely asynchronous. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Your responsibility is to be engaged in a self-directed study. So ibig sabihin, ikaw yung boss ng sarili mo. But only within a specific time frame. So for example, one week or three weeks. Sa GE courses, hinati-hati namin yung uh, kurso into modules that you can work on on a weekly or uh, every two or thrice a week. No? So meron doon mga learning activities that you need to perform within a specific time period. So kaya kailangan mo ng focus and discipline sa pag, uh, pag-aaral sa ganitong mode of learning. So ka, hindi ka tulad ng in-person classes, no? so umaaten tayo sa klase, papasok tayo ng 8.30 to 10 o'clock doon sa ating mga GE courses kunyari, and the teachers uh, during the class, class hours will be delivering certain activities. That will still happen uh, at some point. No? Magkakaroon pa rin kayo ng synchronous sessions, live meetings, katulad nito, magkasama tayo ngayon sa Zoom. Pero ang karamihan sa mga learning tasks na gagawin ninyo will have to be an asynchronous. And in those areas, in those examples, you need to be disciplined and focused. So sa mga synchronous sessions naman natin, uh, pinapalalahanan din kayo na mag-interact sa ating mga kapwa estudyante. And the way we behave in those sessions, we are also reminded that we need to observe proper behavior. Siyempre, hindi naman natin ginagawa yung Zoom dati. Hindi natin alam kung uh, tama na ba or maayos pa ba yung dating natin sa ibang mga kausap natin. Ano? Kaya magiging mahalaga yung session ni, ni Sir Chico on Friday, uh, mga kasama sa UPLD, mga estudyante at lahat ng mga 
mag-aaral pa na nakasama natin ngayong umaga. Uh, samahan nyo din kami sa Friday para sa paghahanda sa ating uh, netiquette and how we can prepare ourselves to be on camp ready. So that, um, pangalawa, uh, pangatlo pala, you also need to communicate with your facilitator or coach, especially when you hit or hit a snag. Meron kayong hindi naiintindihan na mga instructions sa mga study guide na ipinadala sa inyo. Uh, choose the proper communication of, uh, mode para marating ninyo yung in yung uh, faculty member uh, is it correct to email your sir or uh, or your ma'am para ma-express mo sa kanya uh, pwede bang mag-message ka sa Facebook so yun yung mga dapat na pagkasunduan ninyo sa simula pa lamang ng semestre katulad nga ng sabi ng uh, GMA Public Affairs okay lang humingi ng tulong kung nahihirapan ka at alam niyo hindi rin naman namin agad malalaman bilang mga guro kung meron na kayong pinagdadaanan o hindi malinaw, kung hindi ninyo ito ipaparating sa amin. At bagamat magkakahiwalay tayo physically, we don't need to be socially disconnected. We are only physically distant but socially connected. So that is our tip number two. Choose interactions that matter. Pangatlong tip to be lit this semester. Number three, Adapt a learning strategy. At isa sa mga pinaka-useful na OERs, Open Educational Resources na nakita ko, ay ang six strategies for effective learning delivered to us by the learning scientists. At ininagay ko dyan sa link below ang, uh, ang, ang link para ma 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 mabasa din ninyo ng mas mahusay kapag ka mas marami na kayong oras. Pero hayaan ninyong sabihin ko sa inyo, Uh, ang preview ng anim na strategies na pwede ninyong subukan uh, kapag ka kayo ay nag-aaral na. So meron silang anim na suggestion. Learning strategies kapag ka nag, uh, nagre-review na daw kayo o nag-aaral kayo, whether online yan, distance mode, or whether in-person kapag ka ready na tayong bumalik sa in-person classes. Concrete examples, dual coding, Elaboration, interleaving, retrieval practice, at spaced practice. Ano-ano ba ang mga ito? At paano natin ito i-apply? Una ay ang uh, concrete examples. No? So sa mga study guide ninyo, sa mga live sessions na katulad nito, your facilitator or your coach will be providing you some examples. So, After that, look for uh, look at your class materials and discover some more examples, no? So, saan pa ba pwedeng mai-apply ito? Uh, bukod doon sa mga binigay sa inyo ng inyong uh, guro, ano? And when you consider the examples for a particular concept or process, try to examine, meron bang connection ng mga examples na ito, no? You need to exercise your critical thinking and uh, your pattern re pattern recognition in uh, in the examples that you are witnessing at katulad ng nabanggit sa atin kanina ni Dimple ano napakaimportante meron na meron kang learning partner no so eto yung mga iniisip mo why don't you share it to uh, your classmates no katulad nga ng nabanggit ko kanina we can be physically distant but we will have to remain socially connected. Marami naman mga paraan and I'm sure alam nyo kung paano makukontact yung inyong mga ka-eskwela. Ka so that is concrete examples. Ngayon naman, dual coding. So you have here your study guide. Of course, verbal siguro yung pag-explain sa inyo ng inyong mga teacher. One thing that you can do is to transform those verbal or textual study guides into visual. So katulad ng Uh, na-suggest sa atin kanina din ni, uh, ni Dimple, no? meron siyang mga uh, cue cards, mga index cards. So siguro doon niya ginagawa yung doodle ng mga, ng mga concepts no? or uh, images or notes that uh, she uses in order for her to review for a particular course or exam. So that is dual coding. Susunod naman ay ang retrieval Practice. Ano namang ibig sabihin nito? So kunyari, 
online setup, nandyan yung mga reading materials niyo, yung videos na pinapanood sa inyo, yung mga worksheet na ipinagawa sa inyo. After that session, close down the computer or the lap or your laptop. Uh, kuhanin niyo yung inyong notebook at isulit ulit niyo yung mga natutunan niyo from the lecture. Sketch it out, no? Eh nang hindi tinitingnan yung mga notes niyo muna para malaman niyo kung ano na yung ongoing understanding niyo sa inyong lesson. And then once you have sketched it out, written it down, go back to your notes. Tama nga ba yung pag-intindi mo? Tama nga ba yung naisulat mo doon sa iyong notes? So that is one way that you can implement retrieval practice. Susunod na tip, elaboration. Isa pa din yan na technique. Habang nakikinig ka sa lecture or habang pinapanood mo yung video doon sa YouTube or pinapala, binabasa mo yung text, required text para sa iyong kurso. Ask yourself while you are studying how things work. Be curious. Ask the difficult question. Why and how are these things related? Connect the ideas from the pages that you are working on. No? And then, uh, find answers in your class materials and discuss them with your classmates. So, Isipin ninyo, no? Etong, uh, I'm sure itong learning scientists, when they did this uh, uh, suggestions, strategies, they were thinking, of course, of the in-class, uh, in-person classes. But that th these st strategies are still applicable in online learning setup. You can still reach your classmates. You can still reach your, uh, your coach, no? So that is elaboration. Interleaving, ang susunod naman natin na strategy. Papasok pa yung interleaving. Go back over the ideas again in different orders in, in different orders to strengthen your understanding. So for example, yung isang module, merong tatlong main sections, tatlong main concept. A, B, and C. So for the first 20 minutes, ang aralin mo muna yung concept A. Next, second 20 minutes, concept B. And then dedicate the last 20 minutes in understanding concept C. Now, kapag ka nagre-review ka na, balikan mo yung notes mo. A, B, and C. And then, when you have another study session, review session, balik rin mo naman yung order. Do you understand concept C, followed by B, and then concept A. And then for another run, Try to rearrange the order, concept A, C, B. No? So, yan yung konsepto ng interleaving para masolidify yung connection ng bawat concept or principles that you are understanding as you go along with your courses. Second, space uh, <clears throat> practice. No? So, kung review information from each class, syempre naman, but not immediately but not immediately after class so for example our learning session today maybe you are already writing down some notes no so tapos gusto mong balikan ka agad yung uh, lesson na miss out mo kanina uh, babalikan mo yung you facebook live natin uh, siguro magbreak ka muna matatapos tayo around lunch time kain ka muna uh, kapag ka naka rest ka na balikan mo yung notes mo and then well, uh, after that baka pwede mo nang balikan yung uh, yung YouTube uh, yung Facebook live ng ating session ngayong umaga. Syempre, ibig sabihin din ito kapag ka meron kang exam, you should start early. But of course, marami sa atin ay uh, crammers, no? Kapag ka malapit na yung exam, dun lang tayo maghahanda. No? So siguro pwede natin yun baguhin ngayon kasi lalo ngayon dahil uh, ngayon nasa bahay ka, ikaw ang magko-control ng oras mo at ikaw ang magmamando sa sarili mo. Hindi ka tulad nung umaaten tayo sa in-person classes na every Tuesday and Thursday magkikita tayo sa loob ng ating klase. So, yun po ang mga strategy natin that, uh, at lilipat na ngayon tayo sa pang-apat na pinakamahal uh, isa, isa sa pinakamahalaga strategize time 
use. No? So uh, allocate time on task and stick to the limit. So pagka na-meet na ninyo yung inyong mga kurso for first semester, they have identified kung ano ba yung kainakailangang task at uh, oras na gugugulin for particular tasks. No? Uh, estimated lang naman yun, pero at least meron kayong idea how much effort you will have to put in at particular tasks. No? So, alimbawa, para dito sa learning session natin ngayon, supposedly, we need to finish by 11.30. No? So, we started out at 10. So, alam mo that you will have a commitment to be with us in this mode for an hour and a half. Um, mahalagang tip din is that uh, because we are learning and working from home, you need to negotiate a study space. No? So kung meron kang dedicated na area, sana ma napaka, napaka inam nun para sa iyo na meron kang study table o meron kang designated area na doon ka mag-aaral. No? Kasi para ayaw natin na, na masyadong magkakakabit yung uh, mga buhay natin. Ano? So halimbawa, dala-dala mo yung laptop mo sa, sa kwarto sa silig tulugan ninyo. Tapos dala-dala mo rin yung laptop mo sa silid kainan ninyo, sa hapag kainan ninyo, uh, medyo magka, mahihirapan kayong lalo. No? So kung posible, magkaroon ka ng dedicated space sa loob ng inyong bahay kung saan ka mag-aaral o magtatrabaho. At nauunawaan ko rin, hindi lahat tayo ay nakatira sa mga malalaking bahay o of course, hindi lang tayo mismo ang nasa loob ng bahay. Maybe meron tayong mga kapatid o mga magulang na magtatrabaho din sa loob ng bahay. Kung wala tayong pansarili natin na study space o workspace, maybe you could also negotiate time space. No? So shifting kayo kunyari. Uh, panghapon ka, pang umaga siya. Eh, sasabihin mo naman, eh paano po yun sa uh, ano, live sessions namin? So syempre, yun yung magiging difficulty natin. Pero katulad nga ng nabanggit ko kanina, most of your sessions will be asynchronous. Ibig sabihin, you are given one to three days to respond to the question or to submit the worksheet. So hindi naman kailangan na uh, dahil ang nakalagay sa class schedule mo ay 8.30 to 10, eh kailangan 8.30 to 10 ka din magbabasa dun sa uh, iyong uh, Google Classroom. Ano? So, and also, consider limiting your screen time. Um, inaasahan sa atin, for example, sa isang three-unit course, ang dedicated uh, study time mo dyan ay mga eight hours. Pero hindi ibig sabihin ito na ang buong walong oras ay gugugugilin mo na nakaharap sa uh, laptop mo tapos kailangan meron ka pang mga ring light dyan. No? Mahirapan ka. Hindi yun magiging mabuti para sa yung mga mata. No? Um, at syempre, kasama din sa screen time natin, hindi lang yung mga laptop, kundi yung mga devices ninyo. No? Baka dahil sa learn from home set at tayo, ay mas limitahan natin ang, uh, uh, as maging masinot tayo sa pagkakaroon natin ng screen time kung kinakailangan lamang. Number four, you may also want to try the Pomodoro technique. No? So ano ba yung Pomodoro? So kapag ka may, may, uh, uh, may task kayo, uh, kailangan magba, magmabasa ko niyari, uh, 25 minutes. Yun lang yung gagawin mo. Nakafocus ka doon. So ibig sabihin dapat malayo yung phone mo. Uh, wala kang ibang gagawin. Focus lang for the next 25 minutes. And then after that, you can take a 5 minute break. Uh, Magkape ka, mag... Uh, uh, Facebook, uh, whatever you want to do for five minutes. And then uh, next session ulit, 25 dedicated, 25 minutes, isa lang yung gagawin mo. Work, work on your task. That is strategize, uh, strategize, strategic time use. No? Tip number four. Isa pa na, na, masa, na nais kong banggitin sa inyo, you need to keep track of your schedule by optimizing your use of Google Calendar and Google Keep. No? So yung mga uh, sa GE courses ninyo, sa Google Classroom, of course, magkakaroon dyan ng mga deadlines. And what I strongly suggest is that you automate so that these uh, 
deadlines are already imported uh, from Google Classroom to your Google Calendar. At ako, fan din ako ng paggamit ng Google Keep para sa mga ideas that I'd like to write down at pwede ninyo rin i-integrate yung uh, pwede din naka side by side yung inyong Google Calendar at Google Keep. So that's one way that you can manage all the events in your life uh, kasama na yung mga klase, lahat ng mga deadline, lahat ng inyong mga meetings. So syempre, kayo yung generation ninyo, digital natives kayo, no? So baka mga one year old pa lang kayo, nag-YouTube na kayo, may Facebook na kayo, uh, may hawak na kayong cellphone, pagkagising pa lang sa umaga hanggang bago matulog. Pero dahil digital natives kayo, uh, baka ito rin yung dahilan kung bakit nahihirapan tayong nakafocus. We have organized our lives around the screens uh, of our devices. So halimbawa ngayon na kasama ko kayo na tinitingnan ko itong screen ng aking laptop at on my side, side, I also have my iPad monitoring kung ano yung nangyayari sa Facebook. And then on my right hand, I also have my phone. No? So lahat tayo laging distracted. Siguro one tip is that you need to take control. Take control back of your time. Baka kailangan ninyong mag-install ng uh, app katulad ng Stay Focused para i-close nyo muna yung mga apps katulad ng, uh, ng, ng Facebook o ng, ng YouTube o kung ano paman uh, sa, den, sa, isa, sa mga particular na mga oras para nakapokus lang kayo kung ano talaga yung kailangan ninyong gawin. That is one tip that you might want to try. So that is tip number four. Strategize in your use of time. Panglima, consider others' life situation. No? So sa umpisa pa lang ng klase, magkakasundo kayo ng inyong teacher o ng inyong coach, paano ba yung communication plan? No? And I suggest follow the agreed communication plan as much as possible. So for example, ako, ang plano ko, since uh, we will be using Google Classroom, all academic related questions will have to be addressed using Google Classroom and using the official uh, UP email. No? Uh, in the past, I have used Facebook in communicating with my students, but this time, um, ilelet go ko muna yung Facebook kasi uh, masyado nang magkasama yung personal at saka yung trabaho at para magkaroon din ng healthy boundaries between areas of life and work I have dedicated I have decided that I will use Google Classroom uh, to the maximum at doon lahat ng class related uh, discussions no Syempre, this is an online learning setup the behavior of our students will also have to adapt because we are not meeting face to face every week, twice a week you will have to regularly visit Google Classroom and make sure that all uh, you are updated uh, sa lahat ng mga announcements sa Google Classroom. Um, ang isa pa din, uh, katulad ng suggestion ko kanina, be present where you are and where you should be. So kung nagawa mo na yung calendar mo sa Google Calendar and you have put in there, you have blocked a specific amount of time, say, one or two hours, ang gagawin mo lang ay uh, SAS 1. No? Then, be there. Be present. Maging totoo ka sa sarili mo. Bigyan mo ng sapat na panahon para matutunan mo ang naka, uh, naka, nakalatag para sa iyo sa linggong yon. Hindi yung nag-aaral ka ng SAS 1 tapos bigla kang mag-Facebook. Diba? So, baka maging counterproductive yon para sa iyo. Uh, this is also the time that we need to respect privacy because most people or uh, uh, most people including yourself are learning from home. So halimbawa, ang isa sa mga policy na pag uh, na ilalatag ko sa aking mga mag-aral, um, of course, I'm happy to read and respond to your emails and to your queries uh, during office hours from 8 o'clock to 5. I promise and guarantee you that I, am, I will be online and I will try my do my very best 
to respond to you, uh, to your queries. Siyempre, intermittent din siguro yung access ng ibang mga estudyante. Hindi sila makakapag-online sa buong maghapon. And that's fine. You may want to uh, send your emails, post your queries after office hours. Pero sana maunawaan din ninyo na kailangan din namin ng, ng, ng separation from work and home. Ano? So, sasagutin namin ang uh, inyong mga tanong sa, kin sa susunod na araw. Siguro, alas 8 na ulit ng, ng umaga. No? At from my end, sisikapin ko rin na hindi ako magpo-post ng mga messages na kailangang basahin ninyo sa gabi. Tapos, uh, ma ma magagambala ang inyong pamamahinga o ang inyong pagtulog dahil biglang nabasa ninyo sa Google na meron pala akong tanong na gusto ninyo ah, na, na kailangan ninyo sagutin. So that is tip number five. Consider other people's life situation. Tip number six is to take a break. De-stress and recharge. No? Uh, sa paghahanda ng uh, mga tips na ito, sinangguni ko din ang ilan sa mga bigate natin ng mga scientists sa UP Los Baños. And tinanong ko si Ma'am Ames Dupo at uh, sabi ko sa kanya, kung meron kang isang learning strategy, learning tip na gusto mong sabihin sa ating mga mag-aaral ngayong first semester, ano kaya ito? At itong sabi niya sa akin, set aside time for rest. When things do not make sense anymore, rest. But do not oversleep. We are more receptive to learn more when our brain is given enough time to process. At ganun din naman yung suggestion sa atin kanina. No? So do not uh, dive directly into reviewing immediately after class. Break muna ng konti. Pahinga muna ng sandali. Balikan mo yan later. At kung pagod ka na sa buong araw, magpahinga. Iisa lang naman yung katawan natin. At kailangan ding magpahinga ng isip mula sa lahat at napakarami nating ginagawa sa araw-araw ng ating buhay. Nagpayo din ang GMA 7. Puro na ako GMA kasi hindi ko napapanood yung Child 2. No? Power naps. Uh, baka kailangan mo yan. 20 minutes. Uh, power nap is good for your alertness and motor learning skills like typing and playing the piano. No? So kung may pagkakataon ka sa maghapon na makapag-siesta, makakatulong yan sa pag-aaral mo. Pero tandaan nyo rin na kapag sinabi ko na take a break, distress, and recharge, hindi ibig sabihin nun eh, oh, magbe-break muna ako tapos mag-Facebook, mag mag-Twitter ka na naman. So remember, that is still your screen time. No? So nakatingin ka pa din sa screen. Ang suggestion ko, consider getting unplugged. Consider a break wherein you need to remove all the gadgets. No? So halimbawa, kung may pagkakataon at posible sa inyong kum mga komunidad, magkaroon kayo ng power walk. No? At dahil lagi tayong nasa bahay, hindi tayo nakakaalis, nakakapunta sa ibang mga lugar, I suggest ngayon mas importante ang magkaroon ng physical exercise. So kung may meron kayong uh, YouTube, no? napakadami naman doon ng videos na, na pwede ninyong sundan, at makapag-exercise kayo kahit nasa bahay. So for example, ako, ang personal favorite ko ngayon ay yung uh, body project. No? So uh, natutuwa ako kasi uh, hindi lahat eh, muscled person na kagad no? kapag ka nag-exercise. So that is doable for me. I don't know kung ano yung uh, mas magiging madali para sa inyo. We are now uh, six sa ating mga tips at ito na po ang pang pito. Stay motivated by remembering why. At yan ang payo sa atin ni Dr. Jomar Rabahante ng IMSP Institute of Mathematical Sciences and Physics ng College of Arts and Sciences. Kung hindi niyo uh, kung ma maaalala ninyo, isa sa mga pinaka-busy na scientist ngayong panahon na ito si Jomar Rabahante para sa Uh, modeling na ginagawa niya sa, sa, sa COVID na nagiging batayan para sa mga, mga polisiya na, na inilalatag natin sa, uh, sa IATF o sa gobyerno. No? Sabi niya, 
If you want to do something, start it. Yes, start is the key word. Now, to maintain momentum in everything that you do, find a purpose. Kahit na simple, kailangan ma-feel natin kung para saan ito. Purpose drives our life towards our desired direction. Without a purpose, we might be lost. And look at how much Jomar has achieved. And maybe the reason for that is because he started it and he stayed the course because he knows why. So sa inyo, ano kaya yung why ninyo bilang isang estudyante? Now, I'd like to unpack that a bit. What does it mean to remember why? So for example, sa ating learning session ngayon, ano nga ba yung objective? What is our why for today's session? And kung maaalala ninyo, yan yung mga learning objectives na ipinaliwanag ko kanina. So magkakaroon tayo ng learning strategies. We will discuss practical strategies. And now, we are trying to make sense of all these strategies within the broader context of university education. So try to think of your weekly module. Try to think of your course that you are doing right now, yung mga individual subjects. Ano ba yung why? No? So para mas maging motivated ka, alamin mo kung bakit mo yan ginagawa. So isa pang halimbawa, try to imagine the program why. No? Sa UPLB, meron po tayong iba't ibang mga GE courses. Labing lima yan. No? So yung Arts 1, Content, Ethics 1, Phil Arts 1, Wika 1, CAS 1, SAS 1, STS 1, Math 10, Science 10, Science 11, SOCSI 3, PI 10, Philo 1, at saka HUME 3. So lahat yan, pwede ninyong makuha, depende sa kung ano yung kurso ninyo. Merong mga prescribed at merong mga elective courses. Pero alam ba ninyo na kahit magkakaiba ang pinanggagalingan ng mga kurso na ito, na kahit iba-iba ang mga GE courses natin, yung topic nila, meron silang iisang tunguhin na sana ay naipaparating namin ng malinaw sa inyo bilang mga mag-aaral. At yun yung sagot sa tanong na why? No? So para sa GE courses, alam ba ninyo na ang layunin nito is for you, for, for, for you to develop leadership characterized by integrity, honor, excellence, and public service. Katulad nga ng simulang slide ko para sa araw na ito, this is a presentation brought to you by the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, shaping the minds that shape the nation. When we look at you inside our classrooms or in, the screen, in this screen sa Zoom, we are looking at future leaders of our nation. And I hope yun din yung naiisip ninyo. Sa bawat isang GE course na kinukuha ninyo, ang aim nito ay ma-broaden ang intellectual and cultural horizon. It aims to hone critical and creative thinking, develop passion for learning and scholarship, cultivate a high sense of moral and intellectual integrity, and foster a commitment to nationalism and social justice. Math 10 man yan, STS 1 man yan, SAS 1 man yan, ARTS 1 man yan, pare, pareho ng tunguhin ang GE courses. Na sana ay naiisip ninyo habang uh, itinuturo ito sa inyo. Lawakan natin lalo ang ating perspective when we answer the question why. When you think about your own degree programs, you must also think of why and answer the question, what are the ideal characteristics of a graduate of your own degree program? Marahil, dapat ninyo rin yun balikan at malulutas ninyo at mananatili kayo na motivated. No? So bukod dun sa motivation na manggagaling mula sa inyong mga pamilya, pero may dahilan din kung bakit ninyo kinukuha ang partikular na kurso kung saan kayo naka-enroll ngayon sa degree program ninyo. 
sagutin niyo yun sa inyong mga sarili. Bakit nga ba ang kursong ito ang kinuha ko? At marahil, mas magiging dedicated at motivated ka sa uh, pagtugon sa mga learning tasks sa bawat subject na nakapaloob sa degree program na yan. At panghuli, lawakan pa natin lalo. Hindi tayo magtatagpos sa degree program. Sa pagtatapos ng ating paglalakbay bilang mag-aaral, lahat tayo ay magtatapos bilang mga uh, estudyante o mag-aaral na nagsipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas. Halimbawa, noong Sabado, naganap ang unang virtual graduation sa UP Los Baños. No? Mahigit isang libong tao o estudyante ang nakagraduate mula sa ating mahal na UPLB. At mayroong isang bahagi doon na uh, hindi nawawala sa lahat ng graduation ceremonies. At yun ay ang panunumpa ng katapatan sa universidad. Can you imagine, after four years or five years or seven years of being in UPLB, it all boils down to this test statement. Ang panunumpa ninyo ng katapatan sa universidad. Marahil tumatagal lamang ng, ng, ng 30 seconds ang panunumpa na ito. At dahil noon lang natin siya narinig, baka hindi rin ito pumapasok sa ating isipan. Pero ngayon, lahat kayo na 530 na kasama natin ngayon sa Facebook, uh, isipin ninyo at balikan ninyo ang panunumpa na ito. Hindi lamang sa araw na gagraduate kayo, kundi sa bawat taon na guguguli ninyo sa Universidad ng Pilipinas. Because this is the kind of person this university would like you to be. Sabi, tapat akong sumusumpa bilang isang nakapagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas na sisikapin kong maging karapat dapat sa karangalan at pamantayan at kahusayan ng aking universidad na isasaloob ang mga bagay na mag-aangat sa aking kaisipan at pagkatao at mamamalaging nasa panig ng batas, kalayaan at katarungan. Alang-alang, lahat sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sangkatauhan. Papaano kaya ito tinutugunan ng bawat degree program kung saan kayo naroon ngayon? Papaano kaya tayo mananatiling na sa panig ng batas, sa bawat kurso, bawat subject na kinukuha ninyo ngayon? At sa pagsisimula ng bagong semestre, ang bawat module, bawat study guide, paano ito makakatulong sa inyo para maging handa kayong maglingkod sa bayan at sa sangkatauhan? Yan po ang ating tip number seven. Stay motivated by remembering why. Sa punto pong ito, I'd like to summarize the seven tips that we have discussed so far. Seven tips to be lit this first semester and beyond. Number one, aim to be good in two out of three. Number two, choose interactions that matter. Number three, adapt a learning strategy. Number four, strategize your use of time. Number five, consider other people's situation. Six, take a break, de-stress, recharge. Number seven, stay motivated by remembering why. Mga kaibigan, ako po si Mo Liangko mula sa UPLB General Education Program. Kala karangalan ko po na makasama kayo ngayong umaga. Salamat sa pagpapatuloy sa loob ng inyong bahay at buhay. Magandang tanghali po at manatili kayong ligtas mula sa sakuna at sakit. Monse? Thank you so much, Sir Mo. Napaka-inspiring, Sir. Sobra nang ibinahagi niyo po sa amin ngayong umaga. So guys, we hope marami kayong natutunan mula kay Sir Mo na tips and best strategies on how to be successful, how to stay motivated in taking remotely delivered courses. Okay? So, kumusta pa kayo? Kumusta pa kayo dyan? Okay pa ba? Sige nga, nandyan pa rin ba kayo yung 530 plus namin na viewers? Sige nga, anong major takeaway nyo from Sir Mo's discussion? Sa ating Be Lit, Learn Tips and Best Strategies 
for online learning? Kindly comment down below yung pinakatumatak sa isip nyo. Ako personally, yung tip on Pomodoro technique, yung kung paano mo manage yung time mo, maximize wisely yung time mo. So, 25 minutes work and then 5 minutes break. Um, siguro isa sa natutunan ko ngayong pandemya na ito is on how to really manage your time. Yung let go yung mga, sabi nga ni sir, di ba, um, yung interactions na mahalaga lang yung piliin mo. Nag-let go ako ng mga ibang apps, ng mga ibang um, habits na ginagawa ko so that I'll be able to maximize my time, maging makabuluhan yung oras na ginugugol ko online. Lalo na pag work from home ka, di ba, sir mo? <laughs> Kailangan mo talagang i-manage yung, yung time mo. Okay, so moving forward, ayan. Uh, again, some of you guys requested yung YouTube links natin or YouTube links natin for the session. Don't worry, we will upload them sa aming YouTube channel. I-search na lamang po yung UPLB Learning Resource Center. It will be available within today then. Then, pakiintay na lang po. And then, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, meron na po kami 49 subscribers. O, di ba? Mula sa zero, naging 49 subscribers na. Now, we will be moving forward sa ating um, question and answer portion. Again, guys, uh, mayroon akong pinost dun sa ating FB comment uh, box ng um, ang, ang tawag dito. Uh, reminder, please put your name or write your name, tapos yung affiliation or organization or school po ninyo, and then yung question. And then I'll be reading them one by one so uh, Sir Mo could address them, no? In the meantime, mag ano lang tayo, mag basa lang tayo ng ilang comments from our Facebook page. Ayan, may katulad ako si Miss Arian Mayela, the Pomodoro Technique and to know your purpose, rem remembering your why. Yan yung major take take away ni Miss Arian Mayela. Another Ay, one pala, ma'am siya no, yung Pomodoro Technique, marami din yun mga apps na na pwedeng magamit. So free so, may timer ka na 25 minutes straight. Yes, sir. Ang ganda po kasi nung technique, sir, parang uh, one of the things that I've learned din ngayong pandemic talaga is yung to celebrate your small wins. Yung hindi na sobrang malalaki, kundi yung bit by bit na may progress ka, mas masarap sa pakiramdam. Yes, I agree. Another one from Bernadette Jewel Silano. Major takeaway, start and keep going by remembering your purpose. Correct. I agree. And then from Miss Maria Lori V. Poli, thank you very much for a very informative and essential topic on this new normal. And then from Nerisa Cedillo, so much takeaways from this presentation. Thank you so much, Sir Mo, for all for all of all of the tips. From Jojo Rington. So it's nice to know that all suggestions are so ideal. But in reality, more students are becoming so competitive to one another. It is nice to have friends and classmates that will share their ideas. Hope that many will be fond of sharing those instead of being so competitive to others. Thank you so much. And this will help many students to stay mo motivated, focused, and successful. God bless you, Dr. Lianco and UPLBLRC. Thank you so much for your kind words, Ma'am Jojo. And then from Sarah. <laughs> Name niya, Sarah, ang munting princesa. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Dr. Lianco, for sharing some tips for online distance learning. I found your slides, those that included the tips, very helpful during the orientation phase at the beginning of our school year on October 5, 2020. Okay. Kami po, September 10. Ang aming so, so, siguro din, ano, uh, i-mam siya, uh, Isi-share ko na lang yung slides because some people might uh, want to check yung dun sa link natin sa learning strategies. That's an open access uh, file. So sige, isi-share ko din sa inyo yung uh, uh, PDF para some teachers can also download it. Okay, sir. Actually, may nag-ask na nga, sir, kung isi-share nyo daw po ba yung PowerPoint na sino ka Oo naman, para makatulong kung kailangan. <laughs> yes. According to Ma'am Bench nga po, information not shared is not knowledge. <laughs> so, dapat i-share natin yun para maging knowledge. Okay. Any other? May questions na po ba tayo? Let me just check again. May questions pa tayo. Okay. More on 
comments po sila, sir, on their major takeaways. Ito pa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Si Miss Esa po yung number seven daw, sir. Stay motivated by remembering why. Purpose drives our life towards the desired direction. Is indeed, it is indeed one of the best intrinsic motivations to keep going. And then from Sandra Lazaro. Thank you, Sir Mark Lianco and also UPLB. Si Ms. Cheska Pangat. Sana maging prof ko po kayo, Sir Lianco. Three heart emojis. <laughs> oh, sige, sana magkita tayo. <laughs> okay, and then... Si Ms. Cecilia Javier de los Santos, take away din niya, sir, remember why. And then from Gwinnett, Japan, I learned about the importance of while we are physically distant, we need to be socially connected by reaching yeah. out to classmates and teachers whenever we need help. Uh -oh. so, at kung may dadagdag ko lang, ano, ma'am, uh, madala kasi ngayon, nakalimang buwan na tayo sa, sa media ay uh, patuloy ko pa rin naririn yung salita na social distance. Mali po yun. Huwag po natin ipalaganap yung salitang social distance. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng social distance, mayaman ako, mahirap ka. So magkalayo tayo. Ang agwat po natin ay physical, hindi social. We need to be socially con connected even if we are physically distant. Kahit isang metro ang layo, magkaibigan tayo. Okay? So sana po malinaw yon. Yes, dapat socially connected, socially distant. Okay, ayan sir, meron na tayong question from Ms. Catherine Elizabeth Laude from UPLB. The question is, what program did you use for creating the PowerPoint? Ano daw po? Sorry. What program did you use for creating the PowerPoint? Ah, ah nandun pala sa la last slide ko kasi... Uh, open access din yun eh. Slides go. No? Pwede kayong mag-download ng mga PowerPoint themes doon. Uh, and I'm sure yung mga estudyante natin, mas marami pa silang mga alam na, na pwedeng gamitin. That for a tito like me, uh, slides go lang ako. Tapos uh, shareable naman yun. Uh, kailangan mo lang silang i-cite. And I have included that in my last slide. Slides go. Slides go. Okay, so I hope that answers your question, ma'am. Another question from her as well, um, from Miss Catherine Elizabeth Laude uh, from CAS UPLB. What's your best note-taking system to optimize info retention? Note-taking. Um, wala ko fan, ano? Pero kasi katulad ng dahil tito ako, ano? So meron pa rin akong notebook na pinagsusulatan ko. No? Uh, at yun pa, bakit importante na sinusulat natin yung ideas natin? Kasi lagi na tayong nasa, nasa screen. At naniniwala tayo that our memory will always serve us right. Kaso, uh, hindi yun nangyayari. Nakakalimutan natin yung mga ideas. That is why we need to write it down. At madalas, halimbawa, yung mga pag nagsusulat tayo, gusto muna natin na nabuo na muna natin yung buong idea sa loob ng mga isipan natin. But my dear friends, that doesn't happen. Eh. Uh, nabubuo yung ideas on paper. You need to write it down. Writing is thinking. I agree, sir. May natinan po akong isang webinar din abroad. Sinabi po nung speaker na write before you're ready. Sabi niya kailangan uh, magka-discipline ka na every day i-gawin mo siyang habit na balikan mo araw-araw yung bawa kung may submit ka na journal article out. <laughs> journal article. 20 minutes every day gawin mo siya and then balikan mo tomorrow kahit na hindi ka pa nakapagbasa kasi from there mabubuo mo na talaga yung yung buong idea. Tapos kung may babaguhin, babalikan na lang. Tama ba, yes. sir? Yes, tama yan. At saka, ang isa pa palang tip, ano? halimbawa nagsusulat ka, um, tapos magbe-break ka na. Just before the break, write a statement there. My next point is, just give an idea. Para pagbalik mo, you don't have to review everything. Alam mo na kagad kung ano exactly yung babalikan mo na idea. So wala ka ng masyadong gap. Diba? So, keywords lang. It doesn't have to be right. R-I-G-H-T. You have to write it. 
W R I T E. Get it written. Don't get it right. Yes. Kasi pwede namang i-revise. Wow, thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Inspiring talaga. Another one. Ito, sir, comment ulit. Um, from SP Joe, from JC San Pascual, uh, from CAS. The talk is very well packaged. So many helpful takeaways, both for students and teachers. May you consider and motivate, motivate more people despite the hardships of the current times. From SP Joe. Ano yan? Fan ko yan. <laughs> 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 Biro lang. <laughs> Dami mong fans eh. Taba, let me check, let me check. <laughs> May nagtatanong sir, anong course po tinuturo niyo? <laughs> Sana po maging prof kita. From RM Tagulion. So ngayon sir, mga social courses tsaka methods courses. Meron kaming SOC 191. Baka gusto niyo mag-enroll or 291 kung graduate student ka. Okay sir, from... Ito, fan din natin to. Si Sir Bernard Panabang. Oh, session 1 to session 2. Andito si Sir present. Okay. From UPLBGS. Question. What are your thoughts on providing a conducive environment for home learning? We know that there are a lot of distractions from home and some of us prepared or dedicated space for learning at home. But I believe it is a big factor also for learning. Yeah, that's true. No, and I agree. Um, that is a, katulad nga nang nabanggit ko kanina, uh, that is a difficulty for many households ngayon sa, sa Pilipinas. And my first suggestion was, if you can negotiate for a workspace, then congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Meron ka lang dedicated na lamesa na babalikan mo para mag, uh, mag-aral ka. Pero kung maliit nga yung inyong tahanan at hindi posible na meron kang special na lamesa, para doon ka lang mag-aaral uh, or madami kayo na maghihiraman doon sa table o doon sa com- computer, sa laptop, negotiate time. No? So shifting, palitan siguro kayo. No? Uh, humanap ng uh, paraan. At hindi naman kailangan ng magandang magandang lamesa. Kailangan mo lang ng maliit na espasyo para maka- makafocus ka. I'm sure, uh, of course, medyo mahirap din yun. Halimbawa, uh, katulad ngayon, uh, we, I, I live in a compound. No? Baka mamaya bigla nang may sisigaw uh, or may mga naglalaro ng mga bata, hindi ba? So, hindi natin yun maiiwasan. But those are the challenges that we can get used to uh, slowly as we um, uh, go through our semester uh, starting September 10. Okay. I hope that answers your question, Sir Bernard. Another question from Hermie Marciano. What tips you can give or can you give to those students who are on modular learning? So, I really hope na yung mga estudyante natin, ano, uh, mag, mag, uh, kasundo pa kayo ng inyong mga teacher, how are you going to submit the work that you will be doing? And I'm speaking for, uh, again, general education courses. Uh, ipapadala ba yan through mail or how frequent? Ano? Will it be sent at the end of the semester? Uh, pero siguro, hindi naman walang-wala tayo na means of communication. Baka naman pwede mag-text ka pa din. No? Uh, be reminded na you're still part of the university that you intend to submit uh, your assignments at a certain period, no? so importante pa din yung communication. Uh, siguro, kailangan mo din mag-journal. Ano? Uh, maybe that is going to be part of your portfolio. Again, this is only applicable for general education courses. I know it is really difficult to think of a modular uh, setup distance education when you, have, when you have your technical courses, especially yung mga laboratory Uh, subjects ninyo. No? So I don't have ready answers, answers for that uh, and I'm really sorry. Uh, pero dun sa mga mag-GE, uh, we will find ways to be connected with you. Of course, it's challenging. Mahirap yon At uh, hindi na natin mode masyado yung nag- nag-text tayo kasi kahit na ginagamit mo yung phone mo, ang um, ginagamit mo naman dun, Messenger, Viber, Telegram. Hindi ba? So 
sana magkaroon pa din na ma-maintain natin yung communication even if you are doing the modular version of the course. Thank you, Sir Mo. So, I guess, yun na po lahat yung questions. May mga nag-thank you lang, Sir. From Melvin Ross, thank you, Prof. Lianco and UPLB for the wonderful seminar. Brolex, kudos po, Sir Mark. And then, Joanna Maranan, ha, ha, ha. I'm so certified, Tita. Notebook pa din din daw siya, Sir. Same. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's it. So let me, our team LRC, hashtag team LRC would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Sir Mo, for your valuable time. Kahit napaka busy mo, Sir. Thank you so much for um, being with us for this session. So to award the certificate or e-certificate of appreciation, may I kindly recognize our director, Ma'am Benji Floor. So let me just read the citation. Okay, can I see the certificate, please? Okay. So, UPLB Los Banos Learning Resource Center present the certificate of, of appreciation to Mark Oliver S. Lianco for serving as a resource speaker in the second session on BLIT, Learn Tips and Best Strategies in Online Learning in Jikanabamag Online Learning, a webinar series on how to study at home under the new normal held on August 19, 2020, given this 19th day of August 2020 at the Learning Resource Center, UPLB College, Laguna, signed by our director, Benjamin Apollo G. Flor. Thank you, Sir Mo, for that very inspiring and motivating uh, tips on how to study online. So nakakatuwa talaga na mas maintindihan ng mga bata at sa palagay ko naman ay... Uh, very uh, straightforward ang presentation and I myself had uh, learned a lot as well. Pero yung pomodoro sa akin, parang pizza yun eh. Parang mas, mas pizza ang naaalala ko. Kaya siguro kung maaalala ko yung pizza na pomodoro, eh pwede kong gawin yung technique. Uh -oh. so, th thank you so much uh, Sir Mo sa so, uulitin. No? Maraming salamat po. So, for our uh, students, pwede po natin i-download yung uh, recording nito for you to uh, review kung kinakailangan po. Thank you, Ma'am Bench. Thank you, Sir Mo. Alright, so guys, again, reminder for our third session of the Jika Naba Mag Online Learning, a webinar series on how to study at home under the new normal, entitled Be On Cam Ready effective online presentation skills for students that would be on Friday, August 21, 2020, 2 p.m. po tayo. Hindi po tayo 10 a.m., 2 p.m. Hindi masyadong maaga, okay? At also, please do not forget to answer the evaluation form of the webinar. Again, your comments and suggestions will be deeply appreciated by our team, hashtag Team LRC. I also posted the link in our comment section box para po ma-access nyo yung ating evaluation form, okay? And then yung PowerPoint po ni Sir Mo, I'll be sending them to all of the uh, participants who evaluated our, our program or our session for this morning, okay? So once again, guys, lubos-lubosin nyo lahat ng ating webinar series kasi para sa inyo po talaga ito. Um, we are, this is our privilege to really serve you and to be of use kahit na work from home, kahit na may pandemic. Um, makatulong pa rin kami sa inyo. Okay? Attend all the six sessions to be fully prepared for this coming first semester uh, academic year 2020-2021. At this point, once again, we would like to thank our team, Team LRC and G. Canaba uh, core team headed by our director, Ma'am Benji. And on our technical side is our university research associate and BP coordinator, Joshua Michael G. Jonas. And our webinar production online director, Direct Pro Mark Lester M. Chico. Thank you so much po for And our students. Our students as well. Si Jello, uh, si IMG, and si Dimple. Thank you for participating in our uh, webinar today, in our session today. And also kay Ma'am Porsha. Ma'am, thank you so much for your support. Uh, sa pagmamahal niyo po sa LRC at sa mga students din po. So, this has been... Uh, your moderator for today's session, Cheryl Ed Hermosa Ebron. Once again, mga isko and iska, kapit lamang po, laban lang, 
Sama-sama nating pagtagumpayan ang lahat ng hamon sa buhay. Muli, maraming salamat. Kita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na session. Keep safe and God bless you all. Bye! Bye! Safe to our audience. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Thank you, Ma'am Porta. Hi, Josh. Ready? You're most welcome. You deserve my, ano, my appreciation and support. <laughs>